Drumsandbeats.com. Welcome to Drumsandbeats.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the step mode in Machine and Machine Micro. So the step mode is basically a two-dimensional view of seeing your pattern. Instead of uh, creating your pattern in real time by going like like that, you can just select where you want the sound to be triggered in a two-dimensional uh, beat space. So let me uh, start right away. So I got I loaded a little dance uh, uh, electronic digital kit here to uh, demo. And we'll start with holding shift and pressing note repeat. So that puts you in step mode. Now, as you can see, all the pads went blank um, because this is an empty pattern, an empty canvas. Right now, I have the pattern set to one bar uh, just to begin with so I, so I can show you how, how to create it. And then I'll show you uh, multi-bar patterns. Okay, so we're going to set the tempo. 119, 120 is good for a dance beat. And we'll record. Shift, record. All right, so you can see the cursor. And each of the pads corresponds to a specific place in the bar. So this is beats one, two, three, and four. And then the sub and division, 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, and for E and uh. So wherever you paste, uh, wherever you paint the notes, that's where it's going to be activated. So let's start. So let's say you want to, uh, let's say you want to select a sound to paint on the canvas, on the pattern canvas. Uh, you simply hold select and click on the sound that you want to paint. If you want to preview the sound before you want to paint it, simply exit note repeat. Um, make sure it's not recording. And just uh, and just pick what you want. So we're going to start with a bass drum. Simply go back to note repeat. And the good thing about step mode, actually, you don't have to have record enabled. So you simply just, simply just paint the notes and have it play. And you can do that while it's stopped or while it's playing. I'll, I'll show you while it's playing. So just tap where you want it to be activated. So we're just going to create a 4-4 four, four dance groove right here. All right, so I'm going to add um, some snare on two and four, and some hi-hat on the Oz. And I'm going to see what else there is. All right, that's cool. So back to step mode. This is cool. Alright, so we got a pretty bump and rhythm going here. Now let's say you want to create some variation in the patterns. Uh, you might want to uh, double the pattern length to two bars. Right now it's just one. So we go pattern and press F1 to double. And now we have two bars. Now to move between the two bars, simply use the right and left arrow keys here. Uh, to move to the next bar and the previous bar. So you can have, I don't know, a ton of different lengths. Um, just move between them. So let's say I want to 
create a different kind of pattern here with that bass sound. Um, and then, as you can see, when I move to the first bar, it's the different pattern. All right, let's listen to that. And I want to get rid of that sound on the first, the first one. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And it's activated on the second. And I want to add an open hi hat to the second. So I want to add a, a snare drum here, just to thicken the snare sound, second snare. So back to note repeat, and put it, sorry, on the, and go to the next bar. Oh, and it's already pasted there, okay. Okay, so they're both there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a syncopated rhythm. Same thing, but you just um, place the notes where you want on a pattern. So just experiment what sounds good. That's pretty cool. You can go next bar. Okay, so I hope you get the idea how to create a step mode um, pattern and we'll see um, in different modules and uh, different tutorials how to do that with different um, styles, let's say rock or um, dance. Well, I'm showing you the dance here, but more specifically how to create those rhythms using step mode and live mode. All right, I hope that was helpful to you and good luck creating some awesome beats using step mode.